All right, I'm done with my shift. I'm going back to the station. I'm dumping my vehicle because I'm... D oh, Jesus, my driving is quite horrific there. Okay, don't even worry about... Oh, there... Oh, I knew it was coming. God damn it. Okay. I... Yeah, I, okay. I may, I may or may not have whipped my truck a little bit too much out of there, but that's okay. L. L, I need you to do something for me real quick. Okay, I got myself into a situation. I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to get me out of it, okay? You do that for me? Okay, great. So here's the thing, right? You know like that that road that goes from County Gas Station to the DOT station? You know that road that I'm talking about? Okay, so I'm pulled over. <laughs> I I may have like driven over a curb and then over the lane. It doesn't matter. Point is, I'm pulled over. I need you to come like tow the vehicle or get rid of it some you know, just do something to get rid of the cop that's right behind me okay they're walking up to my window so i gotta go so good luck man you got this okay okay phone's away we're good hello officer how can i help you what can i do for you is there something that you need look i know why you have me pulled over okay i know why you have me pulled over i'll admit okay my driving leaving the gas station not the best driving recklessly back there is there any reason why look i'm at the end of my shift okay i'm i'm just i'm done i'm tired and it's just I was absent-minded, you know? You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you understand. You're a cop, right? You work 12-hour shifts or whatever it is that you work. You get to the end of your shift, you're just like, I'm done. You know, you want to go home. You just, you kind of stop caring, I guess. I, it's just, that's how it is. You understand that you're still unsafe for you to drive that way. Look, I understand what you're saying completely, okay? I completely get it for sure. Uh, but you need to remember that I don't care too much about that um and i oh yeah you know what? i'm just gonna hop in this vehicle real quick okay l go go oh my god uh it's okay officer we'll uh we'll make sure it's taken care of don't even worry about it l how did you even manage to do that without being seen jesus okay so i wasn't i mean i was expecting you to take the vehicle but like i i just i wasn't quite expecting you to just whip in take it and jump out like <laughs> What are we gonna do with this now? We're in a position now uh, where we just, we have a police, it's still got its lights on. I mean, there wasn't much you could, I mean, like you could have come down and I, you know what? I'm not even gonna have this conversation with you right now because we're we're being chased by police because we just stole a police vehicle and you're running stop signs as well. L, you're not getting out of this, at neither of us, honestly. I kind of jumped out and jumped into your vehicle. <laughs> What do we do? Because I'm going to be honest with you right now. There, We've got one cop car directly behind. Well, how are we going to... What is your plan, L? Where are you taking this vehicle? Where are you taking me? Where are you taking the truck? Like, you, you can't seriously expect for us to just, like, get away with this. Because, I mean, what... Where are you gonna go? I don't know what you want me to say to you right now because you have just stolen a police vehicle, right? With a tow truck. And now we're being chased. How are we gonna... Okay, L, come on. Oh, God. Um, I'm so glad that was on the driver's side. Sorry, I don't mean that in a mean way, but I mean, your driving's quite horrific, let's be honest. Uh, get out. Oh, God. Okay, they have guns. Oh, what do we do? I, I'm, <laughs> don't get me wrong, man. You're a great friend, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get shot for you, okay? That's not gonna happen. Driver, step out. Yeah, driver. Driver, step out. They see, that's what they're saying. They're saying to the driver to step, you're the driver, so get out. L, I'm not getting shot because you are refusing to listen to cops. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just... You towed the vehicle. I mean, yeah. It, so what if you towed it, stole it? Doesn't matter. Point is, they have guns. You don't. Get out of the vehicle. <laughs> L, what is your plan? Because, like, I mean, like, seriously, you're in this position right now where you have no options. They have got several guns. But you either get out of the vehicle willingly or they're going to drag you out, L. You have a police car on the back of the truck. You are in a, a whole separate vehicle. You're not going anywhere, L. You're not doing anything. You've got L. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but you are an idiot and you need to get out of this vehicle. Okay? I understand that, like, I called you to come down there and do it. But, like, here's the thing. You need to get out of the car because they're going to drag you out. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. 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 All right. He's getting out. He's getting out. Okay. They were about to smash that window, L. That would have not... Yeah, you would have been literally dragged out. Okay. Go, Elk. You got this, man. I... Oh, my God. I'm going to be in the same possession. Okay. Do I... Do I have to? Do I have to get out? I mean, I, I didn't... I technically didn't do anything, right? Like, I was just a passenger and all this, so... Massive rifle down for a minute, and then I'll, like, step out. Like, you just, like, point it downwards or something. I mean, Jesus Christ. I've not got weapons. All right. Okay. See, that I can deal with. All right. Hands are up. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. We're good. I have stepped out. Look at me. Okay? I'm out of the vehicle. Oh, my God. Okay, this did not go to plan. I mean, to be fair, I don't actually know what the plan was, technically, but that being said, all right, I'm in this position now, so... All right, where do you want me to go? Where Where are we going? Okay, look, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I'm not going to do anything. You don't need to freak out. You don't need to worry about it. Okay, I'm not doing anything. 
I, I will willingly do whatever it is that I need to do. All right, I'm not getting I'm not getting shot or tased or anything like that. Okay, sit down right now. All right, okay. What happened to L? Oh, he's is he in cuffs? I can't tell. I think he probably is. Okay, we're gonna talk. I don't really know if I want to do that. Do we have to? Because these talks, you know, they never really end well. What was that back then? I'd ask him. He was the one that towed the vehicle. I just hopped in with him. Like, you can ask him why he came over and decided to tow your vehicle. I I don't know. It wasn't me. Why would I Why would I do that? Come on. That, that's, that's quite a... That's a bold accusation to make. I mean, seriously. I wasn't on the phone when you were talking to me. You wanted to get out of a ticket. Dude, okay, here's the thing. I didn't tow the vehicle, okay? He did. He towed the vehicle. I didn't do anything, okay? I just got in the passenger seat. You can't really be mad at me for, uh just hopping in with my buddy like he, I'm, you decided to get in it and run after i stopped you. look i mean to say that I, I mean this in the nicest way possible okay but you let your vehicle be towed by a to like he's tow trucks aren't silent vehicles he's driving a big diesel truck you're telling me you didn't see him in his bright yellow diesel truck come up right beside you and tow your vehicle you didn't do anything to stop him you didn't even pull out a weapon you just no, why would why would they tow me? We weren't even done with this conversation yet. We weren't even you, you had just pulled me over. You were the one that would have called for a tow truck to tow my vehicle, were you not? You called for a tow truck before you had even pulled me. Didn't you just say that you were only gonna give me a ticket? You need a tow truck to give me a ticket for. You're all over the place, officer. I'm gonna say that. I'm just saying. You're all over the place. Your story is uh, it's not connecting. You just said to get out of a ticket, right? You just said no 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 no. You just said yeah, this ticket right here. You you try you did all this to get out of a ticket. Now you're telling me that you called in a tow truck before you even had me stopped. You were gonna give me a ticket. Okay, so you're telling you're you're saying to me right that you were gonna give me a ticket, but you had pulled me over and called in for a tow truck before you even stopped me. That's why you thought that tow truck was there, right? Do you know? Do you see how neither of those connect? I'm just saying, officer. You sound a little little crazy right now. Okay. Called it into the other officers. I thought I didn't call for a tow. I figured an, another officer did. Why would another officer call in for a tow if you hadn't even done the traffic stop yet? Like you're, you're, you're just, you're throwing words out of your mouth. These don't make sense. They don't connect, right? Like, no other officer was even there, right? Like there was no other officers on that situation, like in that traffic stop, other than you. They wouldn't have the authority to come and get a just tow my vehicle in the middle of a traffic stop, like. I didn't, I didn't, I mean, it, technically, I guess I did because I hopped in my friend's vehicle, but out of, just out of curiosity, what are his charges going to be? Look, I already said I'm doing everything willingly. If you want me to put, if you want to put me in a car, you can put me in a car. Okay. You put me in your car. They put, they took it off the, the, the hitch. Like you just drive your own vehicle. You get it back. Look at that. What a great day. It's all smashed up. What do you mean? It's all, no, it's not. <laughs> The only thing that's damaged is the, the ram bar. That's the only thing that was, like, in contact with this vehicle when we crashed. Otherwise, it's fine. It would be uns... Oh, my God. You guys are so, so soft. It's got a damaged ram bar. It wouldn't be safe for me to drive that. Are you serious? I'm right here. What do you want? All right, we're getting in this one. Is this the one that we're going for? Like, oh, my God. Okay. You know what? I'm in. I'm in, okay? I already said to you that I'm not going to fight you on this, okay? The only chance I really have at, like, actually getting a reduced sentence is by, like, doing what you've asked me to do, so. Please take him to the station. Oh, boy, we're going to go through questioning and booking and all of that fun, exciting stuff. That's really great. Have fun with your smashed-up Rambar vehicle that's too unsafe for you to drive. I can't believe she... I can't believe you can't drive it. Isn't that what the Rambar is literally for? Isn't that what it's made for? Like, it's unsafe to drive. What happens if you get into a pursuit? You have to use your ram bar to, like, pit someone or, like, you use your ram bar to stop a vehicle. It would then be unsafe for you to drive it back to the station. Like, you have to get one of your friends to take you and you get the vehicle towed. That's so stupid. That's a waste of money, dude. We get questioned. We get released. We get arrested. I really don't care. I, I'm at, at this point, I, I've given up, okay? I've, I've, I'm willing to just do whatever it is that needs to be done. I don't know what I thought was going to come out of that situation. I kind of just, in the moment, thought, you know what? Yeah, let me just hop in with L real quick while he's stealing a police vehicle. <laughs> but then didn't really think about the consequences of it, so... <laughs> oh, well. I guess that's, uh... It's a, it's a learning, it's a life experience. It's a core memory.